they changed the whole user interface in Call of Duty Mobile. Season 8 update is live, guys. You have to download it on the App Store or Google Play Store. And once you get in the game, you're going to see the changes. We're going to look at what's new in Season 8. We got a new gun also. It's an AR this season. And we got some additions to the multiplayer loadouts. So let's get started. We're going to start with the visual changes. And yeah, usually used to be these large tabs like all under the other on the left and on the right is the biggest change these big rectangles like colorful tabs are all gone now it's just a line with selectables now it looks like a whole lot of changes but once you click on something you're gonna see it's the same as before let's say the events tab it's now a small square but when you click on it it's all like it was before I don't know if it's gonna change Wednesday night when the season starts, but so far it's not too bad. The sales tab, really easy to spot. Uh, sales and store, and once again, the store is all the same. They still have the draws on top, uh, nothing's changed, still rotating. I think they want you to see that first. The battle pass is there. Hey guys, by the way, don't forget, it's a rank reset this season, so if you have something to finish, go get your uh, documents and medals. Uh, don't forget also since it's a rank reset the clan store currency also reset if you have clan store points you want to spend now because Wednesday night it all resets to zero now the clan is at the bottom right is super small and it's just written white on nothing so I was looking for it where's the clan tab so bottom right corner and then you have to go go to the store and if you have some currency there please spend it now because you're gonna lose it all right now it's a rank reset so it's also a new tournament season new tournament season is gonna start probably friday it's always friday to sunday and uh, we're gonna get new rewards new camos you're gonna see huh the tournament camo is red it's called carmine uh again i'm gonna say right now i'm not a big fan first looks first impression but you know it's always like not always but sometimes when you get it and you see what it looks like in the game very often it's much better than we thought but so far i think it's not great guys so we're gonna see next week okay we also have a first look at the operator skills you know every week you get sometimes a score streak or an operator camo well this one's gonna be like black and blue it looks like cities but it's like multiple lines so i don't know we'll see what it looks like in the game once again New tournament about to start, guys. I'm gonna select the region, America, and we're ready to go. 106 hours before the start. Excited for new tournament. Hopefully, we'll have Alcatraz again. Now, zombies still here. Probably nothing new. I don't expect anything, but I'm gonna start grinding camels again on the new guns. Talking about new guns, let's check out the new AR, guys. If you wanna try a new gun before it's released, just go to your loadout, go to any gunsmith, and click on try at the top to go. In the training grounds once you get there just change your weapon go to ar and select the new one it's at the bottom here and it's called lag 53 try so when you try it like that uh, sometimes it's zero attachments but you can mess around with attachments if you want so this is the gun this is the default iron sight doesn't look that great it's a bit bulky reminds me of something else uh reload animation we're gonna go for the full reload Okay, and 20 bullets in the mic. So it looks like one of those low fire rate and high damage guns. So we're going to see weapon inspection. Like it's a big gun, guys. It's a, it's a big AR. So I'm going to guess also like slow movement speed, low mobility, high damage. I could be wrong, but just a... Uh, yeah, just an impression looks like a fire like a, a, a delay once you you stop shooting like you hear one or two more shots it's really weird i saw a post on twitter about it i did not understand but when you use it it feels weird i don't know if it's a bug like i don't know it's a bit slow but we'll see let's go back to the lobby guys but no matter what we got a new ar this season like 53 these guns are usually the longest to grind gold damascus because they have like you need more headshots and more kills it's it's usually a, a bit of a grind 
but I'll do it no matter what. Like this is the gun that I might use anyways. I use SMGs, I use ARs. So yeah, we'll see how it goes and how it performs in rank. Because we got a lot of fast fire rate and fast killing weapons right now. You're gonna see how this will compete with the good stuff. Now talking about multiplayer, we're gonna go in the loadout tab, guys, because we got two new additions this season, and this one it's a score streak and it's called flame knot we don't have the preview of it but we have the description and look at that okay it says equip a heavily armored suit capable of unleashing hellfire on the battlefield with a powerful flamethrower so think about armored suit and check the points you need 900 to equip it's exactly the same as the xs1 goliath guys and the xs1 goliath also says powerful armor it's an armored suit but instead of a minigun you're gonna have a freaking flamethrower flamethrower now when we think flamethrower i'm immediately thinking about the purifier guys the most hated freaking purifier so imagine you're a goliath but instead of a minigun you have like a purifier we gonna see the balance of it and how good like the defense how easy you are to destroy also how strong you are with your flame tour is it a purifier or better or worse and then we're gonna judge if it's worth the 900 points but goliath usually it's always the same you risk getting it stolen from you if you die it's really slow you have to wait for it then you have to like equip it so we'll see i i don't use the goliath so i don't know if i'll use the mini uh how do you call it a flame knot but i'm gonna try it at least and probably right now guys if you spam care package i think you can get it now so we're gonna check it later last thing they add to multiplayer i think it's a green perk or a blue perk yeah i think it's a blue perk there you go assassin so this is a weird one also after 90 seconds in a match you got to have high threat enemies mark on your mini map so just like a uav on your mini map you will see high threat enemies it means there are enemies who have activated three score streaks already after 90 seconds or more or they have a kd of four kd or more so they already got four kills zero that or four and one or five and one or something like that and i don't know if they're if it's their seasonal kd or if it's the in-game kd but i'm gonna guess it's in game so if they have a good game you're gonna see them on the map and you can go chase them and break their kill streaks and earn extra points extra scores so you're gonna have a chance to finish like score higher on your team and then get more rank points i guess or get your kill streaks faster also so really interesting assassin perk your job will be to go hunt the um, like the tough players or the campers maybe i think it's interesting but i don't know i really don't know if i would use that over dead silence or or stuff i already use i, I don't know guys i don't know you guys let me know i'm curious about that one so that's it for multiplayer now br we don't have a new class but i heard about a change with instant revive so we're gonna see how the gameplay goes but doesn't seem to have anything new in br let me know if i missed anything now one more thing is i don't see anymore the watch ads feature i don't know if it's just me or if it was removed or if it will be back tomorrow let me know guys but i don't see it right now on my ui i don't see the watch ad so this is the trailer for season eight you probably saw it. it's on the social season eight shadow operatives so i'm excited for this one because gonna be new stuff also right the fire and ice team take fight to fire and ice they're gonna have the mythic krig back and also a fire team mythic shotgun the jack 12 is that right jack 12 so it's gonna be fire versus ice and we're gonna have a new camo for the mythics if you have both mythic guns max the skin is pretty dope like the mythic krig was one of my favorite i only maxed a few mythic guns in my collection and mythic krig 6 was one of these so it's like a collab or like a, a special feature they added to the game 
fire and ice curious about it but not super hyped to spend that much money on a camo so i might do it for the content but i'm not sure i really like the idea now something really really cool we got a new cosmic silverback skin on one of the upcoming draws however it's a bruin mk9 so i might just go for the skin and skip the gun but i'm pretty sure i'm going for the skin guys i i absolutely love the cosmic silverback i think it's the third one if you count the yeti like the the winter one i'm going for that one guys definitely now the artery with the mythic jacks this is a draw i will complete the other two i'm probably gonna skip bk57 i don't need hdr i don't need but the klepto skin is insane so again it's two draws this season i might go for the skin and skip the gun so we'll see i just really like it and i don't think i need the hdr guys so yeah we'll see how it goes the new season starts wednesday night we're gonna get a new battle pass i will be live on the youtube channel at 8 p.m eastern 5 pacific wednesday so you guys join the stream don't forget to go spend your clan currency and you have a couple days to get legendary if it's not done and that's it for today thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video smash like subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one